a presidential pen. It, on the very first day I am president, about two hours after the inaugural address, I will sign into order, I will sign an executive order putting in place the Keystone Pipeline. <laughs> That will bring 700,000 barrels a day to Houston from Canada and will lower the cost of bringing oil from Oklahoma, Arkansas, Kansas, and Texas to Houston. Second, I would reestablish in the Gulf of Mexico the system we had before Obama stopped it. And that would add 400,000 barrels a day from the Gulf of Mexico in known areas that we've been developing for years. Third, I would put in order developing areas of Alaska we already know about. And that would bring another million two hundred thousand barrels a day. Now that is in three signatures. Not a silver bullet, but three signatures. Two million one hundred thousand barrels a day of additional American oil brought online in a way that dramatically will affect the world market. I would also open up federal land, and I would open up offshore. Now, for our friends in the media, let me be quite clear. You do not have to open up Yosemite, or Mammoth Cave, or Yellowstone. We own 69% of Alaska. That is one and a half times the size of Texas. So you could say to the environmentalists, we're going to give you half of Texas. You can pick the best glaciers, the best polar bear areas, you can pick the National Park at Denali, put them all together. That leaves you an area the size of Texas to develop. Now, we've got at least two or three decades to develop an area the size of Texas, which may, by the way, have the largest coal reserves in the United States. So let's start down that road. In addition, we have a huge domestic supply of coal, as you know, right here in Tennessee, Virginia, all the way up through West Virginia. And we were promised in 2003 that the, the Department of Energy was going to develop a clean coal plant that would be a model for the future, that would make all the liberals happy. And the bureaucracy currently has targeted it for 2016. At the rate we are currently going, the Chinese will develop a clean coal plant before we do, and it will be Chinese technology being sold around the world because our Department of Energy bureaucracy is so incompetent they cannot get the project done, which is why I recommend we abolish the Department of Energy. <laughs>